there are some just terms that you see which a common man, a non-techie like me would relate to. What is this digital disruption? How is it changing our lives? I mean, uh, uh, a topic which has been more discussed uh, than probably the Indian economy. So, uh, I don't know from where to start, but I can only tell you that this Diwali, I was with my daughter in San Francisco. And I started, you know, uh, reacting to what the way she lives. Today, she gets up in the morning, she's talking to Alexa. Alexa, switch on this light. Alexa, read me the news of the day. Alexa, what is the temperature and weather? And I couldn't stop but reflect that the same girl growing up was newspapers. Newspapers became internet. Internet became an app, and app has now become a voice activated. Uh, now, everything that I have spoken up till now was always digital. It's just a question now is the rate of change in an individual's life. If the individual's life, digital is becoming so integral, I'm sure it is becoming part of the work life. And if it is becoming part of the work life, it is also a part of the society and it is part of the government. So in my opinion, whether we call it Industry 4.0 when we go into manufacturing or whether we call it version 5.0 when we go into a new piece of software that your company is releasing, the reality is that everything that is happening around us can be redefined by digital. And for us, at least in Tech Mahindra, we believe that this rate of change of technology is also the opportunity. For most of us, it really means is we can be more productive, we can be more efficient. For most of us, it also means we can have different careers. So I believe the word digital disruption is wrong. I think digital opportunities is more appropriate. 